Hello and welcome to Musser's new home in Elkhart, Indiana, where we make a full range of high quality mallet instruments. For the next few minutes, we're going to take an inside look at the art and science of making the Musser sound. For every instrument, we start with the finest materials, like this Honduras rosewood. The first step is always to cut the material to length. The organic nature of wood means we can't use templates. Every piece of wood is carefully evaluated for grain and density. Here you can see our master wood bar tuner carefully cutting this bar to the perfect length. The second step is always to stamp the note name on it. Finishing operations that may affect the tuning are done next so that they won't affect tuning work done later. Here, a power feed sander puts a smooth level top on some wood bars. Gary carefully buffs a satin texture into the wood on the buffing wheel. It takes a good eye to get it just right. Holes are drilled through the bars to suspend them on the instrument's frame. Correct placement of the holes is critical to avoid dampening the vibration of the bar. The first tuning on wood bars is done with a bandsaw. The shape that Gary cuts into the bottom of the bar will do more than determine the pitch. It will also tune the harmonics and enhance the bar's sustain. There's no easy way to explain all the ways that this tuning process will affect the final sound. There's also no easy way to learn it. It comes from years of experience, a passion for excellence, and a love of music. Fine tuning is done with small handheld tools. Does that tiny cut really make a difference? We think you'll agree that it does. At this stage, wood bars get a coat of clear lacquer, and when they've had some time to dry, they'll go back for more tuning. Finished bars are matched and strung together in the final assembly area. Meanwhile, the resonators and frame are coming together. In the metal shop, resonator tubes are cut to length and mounting holes are punched. Resonators are carefully assembled with rivets or screws. These resonator tubes will act as amplifiers for the bars above them. The length of each resonator tube is set precisely with a cap. Resonator assemblies are sent out for powder coating. These are finished in a handsome copper color to complement the instrument frame. With the resonators and rails in place, our marimba is really taking shape, but there is still much to do, like putting insulators on all of the 144 posts on this five octave marimba, and making sure that the hinges and locks work smoothly. Now it's time to put the bars on the instrument, and finally it looks like we're done, but we aren't. Nothing leaves without being play tested, and before that happens, the tunable resonators will have to be adjusted. One last time, we'll use a strobe tuner to make sure every bar is exactly on pitch. But the final judge is the player's ear. Now we've seen how a rosewood marimba is made, but that's just part of the story. Musser craftsmen also make vibraphones with aluminum bars, xylophones and marimbas with keylon bars, chimes from brass tubes, and bells from hardened steel. Each of these materials requires specialized skills and tools for cutting, drilling, polishing and smoothing, and of course, tuning. Every bar and tube is carefully suspended on a frame designed to enhance the sound of the instrument and provide years of trouble-free use. As a musician, you've worked hard to perfect your craft. So have we. We go to no small effort to make sure that everything on your new Musser instrument works perfectly and plays beautifully. We're proud to put our name on the instruments we make. We hope you'll be proud to own one.